What's up, everybody? I'm DJ Sparker, aka Demo, and welcome back to the Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi Fi battle. I have not changed my mind about Decidueye, it is still trash in my eyes. I don't think I will ever not change my mind about Decidueye. Wait. I don't think I will ever. I don't think I will ever change my mind. St I'm, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. We have another battle with this team, and um, my opponent has a Blaziken. Let's just uh, sweep that under the rug right there. Play the battle. Play the battle. So, as always, as always, I, I decided to lead off with my Mian Shell, my Choice Scarped Mian Shell with U Turn. And, um, my opponent here, um, well, you're about to see, I'm getting way too ahead of myself already. So, my opponent here leads with Durka, Durka the Lion Rock. I was afraid that the, this thing was Choice Scarped for my Charizard because, yeah, Choice Scarped No Guard Stone Edge is, um, pretty threatening for Charizard. But right away, my opponent switched in, in, right in, into Mimikyu, which, I predicted I am not ever locking myself into um high jump kick with the ghost type on your on your opponent's team. I'm not ever doing that. No one should ever do that. You, you do not do that. Do not ever do that. If you do that, I'm gonna be disappointed in you. Have you not learned anything from my from my um Wi-Fi class? This will be on the test. Anyway, I switched out into Charizard because I do outspeed it. And uh, my opponent switches right into into Entei, which um, it's a blessing and a curse. For, it's a blessing for me and a curse for everyone. For everyone. And they can't get Flash Flyer anymore. Not that it was ever re released, but... For those who don't know, the, um, Legendary Beast Trio's, um, hidden abilities were all changed to Inner Focus for some ungodly reason. So Entei can't have Flash Fire. Suicune can't have Water Absorb, and Raikou can't have Volt Absorb. Yeah... It's unfortunate, but... Thankfully for me, in this situation, it's good for me because I can just flamethrower right now. I switch out because I don't want to risk a speed tie and have him go for Stone Edge. So I just switch out into, into Tapu Fini because, yeah, I don't want to lose my Charizard right away. I really don't. And sure enough, my opponent does go, does go for the Stone Edge. Now, um, again, for those who didn't see the last battle, um, this battle was, um, recorded a long time ago, like back in February, so this set is kind of... Stupid. I running Scald on this type of Fini, which um is kinda dumb considering I have a Mega Charizard who's weakening it, but like I had Scald because I like I wanted to catch in on like flying types like, like Landorus on the switch in or Tapu Bulu on the switch in and try to burn it, but yeah, it doesn't do that. I can't do that. Uh thankfully my opponent does go for the Sachuk and I am physically defensive, so it doesn't do as much as it as a psychic would. And I'm just free to throw off a moonblast and um yeah, unfortunately, don't get a special attack. Special attack drop, which um, would have been nice to have. Would have been nice to have. My opponent does withdraw the Alakazam and goes into the Entei right again. Uh, what can you do to me exactly, Entei? I mean, I know Entei is a good Pokemon, but I, I don't really know what it can do to me. I mean, it can Sacred Fire me, which in the sun would do a lot, but the sunlight fades right here. You can't burn me because of the Misty Surge. What do you do, Entei? What do you do against the type of Vini? Sacred Fire? That's not doing it. It's not doing much. Okay, it does, it does a decent amount, but you're not going to burn me. I'm not going to scald you and kill you. Bye. Bye, Entei. Don't have to worry about Stone Edge anymore. I'll tell you that much. So, Entei goes down, thankfully. We got a Pokemon down, down already. That's pretty good. So, um... Mr. Misty Surge unfortunately disappears, and uh, my opponent goes right back in, into the Mimikyu, which um, can't really touch me unless it sets up a Swords Dance. But um, my opponent here carries Wood Hammer, Wood Hammer Mimikyu. I don't, I don't know how common that is, but God damn it! You know, I should have seen that coming. I know that Mimikyu gets a Wood Hammer. I knew that, but I didn't, I didn't know he was running it. I wasn't certain. I wasn't certain. I, I don't know. I don't know. Unfortunately, my type of Fini is pretty much dead, and um, uh, I kind of should have done better to preserve it because um, it's very good against Blaziken. Some may say it's the best answer to Blaziken on my team. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. So unfortunately, Blaziken is gonna run house on my team. Yeah. I do go out in, into the Charizard again because it does outspeed the Mimikyu. It can only hit me with Shadow Sneak right now at this point. Which it might not have. I don't know. 
if it withdraws the mimic, my my opponent withdraws the mimic, and goes right in, back into um Durka. Again, I'm really scared if this thing is Choice Scarf, so I just went for the Flame Flower because it is and it hits anything for good damage, even even if it's resisted in the sun. Let's look at that. That did like half. Again, I really don't want to risk a Choice Scarf, so I go right in the, out into Chansey, which is very fat and bulky. But my opponent catches that withdraw and goes in the in, in, in Hydreigon. Hydreigon? Well, I guess he wasn't predicting the Chansey. Maybe he was predicting the Magnezone, I don't know. She! There we go again. I don't. So, unfortunately, my opponent goes right into the Blaze again, which, um, I kind of predicted, so I set up a wish to, um, pass off into whatever I wanted to send out. And now that my top of Feeny's gone, I don't really have any safe switch ins. So my best my best answer to this thing is, is Charizard, just because yeah I resist both its stabs even in even if it is in the sun, but my opponent does have the Brave Bird, which is actually a relief because that means it, it can't have Stone Edge if it was running both stabs. So yeah, which just get me back up to full HP. Speed boost is gonna be annoying. Yeah, I wasn't really expecting to outspeed this thing anytime soon. My my opponent does protect right there to um scout what I'm gonna do. I do have Hidden Power Ground on this Charizard because I don't really like Focus Blast because Hidden Power Ground hits f his um, hits some um, Heatran all the same and Focus Blast doesn't really do anything to Chansey as it is. So like, what's the point to me? I don't know. My opponent goes right in into the Alakazam, which was a risky play. I could have just gone for the fl for the Flame Power right there, but yeah, I just get a safe switching because HP Ground isn't enough to KO it, unfortunately. Oh no. I do have the Magnezone ready, ready and willing, and I don't think my opponent has any ground type, so I'm free to Volt Switch. I don't think. Am I thinking of the other battle with the Landorus? I think I was. Yeah, I don't think the, my opponent has any um, ground type, so yeah, I am free to Volt Switch. I do dodge the um, Focus Blast, thankfully. I would have lived it because I'm a, I'm a self best, I don't know. I did leave a um, Focus Blast from a top of Lele before, so yeah, go me. Go Magnezone. I do switch out into um, Mean Chow because I am Twist Scarfed and I can high jump kick anything except for when this Volt Blazing goes for Protect. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah, this Blazing is a real big problem because it's. Uh, it's why this thing is Ubers. This is why it doesn't do anything to my opponent. It doesn't do anything at all. Nothing at all. So I do just, I do just sack it off right here. I. He does go for the protective scout, what I'm gonna do. Nothing matters because I can't really do anything except like, um... What's, what's his signature move called? I can't even remember, that's that's how much it sucks. It, um... Well, not the move, but the situi. You, you get the idea. My opponent does go the blaze kick and, um, does KO the, um... The situi. But that does mean it doesn't, it doesn't have Flare Blitz, which... Does do significantly... Significantly... Significantly more to Charizard because, yeah, it's like ba base 120 power stab in the sun. My opponent does go to the go for protect again to stall out the sun. Oh my god, this guy is just oh my god, we get it. You like speed boost, doesn't matter. You got speed in anything anyway. It doesn't matter if I have choice scarf, Th that doesn't matter. Flamethrower, hidden power, hidden power ground, I don't care. I'm just playing it safe right here because, yeah. Oh, HP ground, why can't you be enough to kill sometimes? I swear. I swear. Oh well, let's go for the flame power and knock this thing out. I am picking off um the switchins that he wants to switch it switch out into against his Blaziken. Thankfully. So Mimikyu is down, Ante is down, Alakazam is down. Is it? Wait, did Alakazam go down? I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah, I think. I, yeah, I did. He, all he has, all my opponent has right now is the um, Blaziken, Hydreigon, and um, Durka, Lycan Rock Midnight. So thankfully, unless this thing has superpower, superpower, Chansey walls the thing, Hydreigon. So my opponent knows this and um, goes right hand into the Blaziken, which um, I knew was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen. It never doesn't go out into the um, Blaziken. So I just went for the soft boiled here. I should have gone for the wish to um wish passion to into my switch in, but hey, what are you gonna do? What art thou gonna do? 
I wanted to see how much a Sky Uppercut would do. I knew it wouldn't knock me out, I just wanted to see how much it would do, so I just went for the soft world right here. Thankfully it doesn't Oko me, because Chansey is so fat. If it was high jump kick, then yeah, it would have. It would have. Oh boy. Oh man. So yeah, Sky Uppercut is um threatening me. Thankfully Charizard does resist. Oh my goodness. It is such a blessing that this thing doesn't have Stone Age. If it was if it did, then this battle would have been long over. Would have been over a long time ago. I swear. <sighs> I don't know why people would would run Braveford on um on um Blaziken? I don't know. I do protect the um I do protect the unplay protect on the um Blaziken and go for Roost right here. Because yeah, I knew he would go for a protect. That's all he's, my that's all my opponent has been doing this whole game. So I don't wanna Hydrogon has Levitate, so I don't wanna use HP Ground anymore, so I just went for the flamethrower, which will do a lot even though it's resisted. So yeah. Look at all this damage right here. Yeah, it does a little less than I thought, but still a lot. Considering it's resisted. Hmm. Hmm. So I go on into the end show expecting a dark pulse. Expecting a dark pulse, but my opponent actually just goes for goes for a roost. So Blaziken can't freely switch into a high jump kick. And um Lycanroc and Hydrogon do go down to do go down to it. So I am free to high jump kick right here. And thankfully it does KO the um Hydreigon. So it's another threat down. Oh my goodness. Yeah. We're doing this. We're doing this. We're getting through this. I believe. I can't stay in because he can just go for a protect, so I do decide to um sack off my magnetism right here. <sighs> Maybe it was no, I didn't it wouldn't have that out of because if it was choice scarf because he has speed boost. Oh man. This would be even worse if the Blaziken Knight was out. Let me just tell you that. So Magnezone does go down with the um to the Blaze Kick. Now I'm free to go back right back into Charizard because yeah. Yeah, nothing really switches into nothing really switches into an HP ground or flamethrower for that matter. So I am free to click whatever I want right here. And technically the drought comes up and you are not gonna be able to um Oko me. You can you can brave bird all you want. Or protect. Or protect. You can't really stall out my son. You can't really do that anymore. Unless you go for double protect, which wouldn't is not smart. It is not smart. So he goes for the Braver right here. And fortunately, this does not knock me out. Thankfully. Thankfully, he doesn't knock me out. Hey, Skype, how you doing? So, thanks to all that recoil. I do, um, go for the HP grind. And it, it is it is enough to, to KO it. Thankfully. Now, all that's left is the Unlock and Rock. And I was worried if this thing was Choice Scarf, but, um, you'll see right here it's not. Thankfully. I don't know what item it was running. I don't know. I don't know, but I do think that, um, Luck and Rocket Midnight should run Joy Scarf because, yeah, base 80 speed, that's, um, someone's saying that is perfect for Joy Scarf. I don't know. But, GG, Stephanie, that is a win on my part. So, thankfully we were able to play around that Blaziken. Oh my goodness, that was, that was a long battle. That was a pretty long battle. So, as always, we have one more battle with this team, and if you like this team and want to try it out for yourself, it is, in, it is in the description below, and if you want to... Hi Skype, how you doing? If you want to see more battles of mine or all the content in general, be sure to click like, comment, or even subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Why do people use so many Ubers now?